All right, what is up, fam? So tonight, I want to show you guys a little something, man. I've been getting into this game called Lost Relics. It's um, something I'm new to. I'm, I'm not very deep into this game. I'm level 12, but I wanted to show you guys a little tutorial because I know a lot of people are having a hard time finding, you know, where to buy stuff or where your stash is or, where you know, just stuff like that, the Emporium, stuff like that. So I figured, hey, listen, I'll make a little quick video, a little easy video just to show you the, the absolute basics of the town, okay? Uh, this is not going to be anything too crazy. I just want to show you guys because even, you know, I, I do stream on Twitch. Uh, you guys can come check me out on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Capone Gaming. I'll put the link below in the description. Come check it out. Uh, I got into this game. I started streaming it a little bit. I streamed it a couple nights and there are people in the community that are like, yo man, this game looks sick. I want to get into it. So, uh, but they're lost too. And, and listen, I don't blame you, man. There's not a lot of information out there. There's not a lot of people that are playing. Like right now you can see there's 824 people online right now. It is one, uh, almost two in the morning, but, uh, the community is growing. Okay. But there's not a lot of information out there. So I'm here to say, yo, listen, uh, especially for the people in the community right now, that are getting into it, they're new players. Uh, here's a little information. Let me show you guys how to play, or at least around town. Okay, so first things first, guys. M for the map basics. I know it sounds basic, but you know, you gotta say it. All right, this here is the tavern. That's where I'm at right now. And uh, basically, this is a very important spot. This is where your stash is. You're gonna go in here. Uh, your stash is very, very important. So after every adventure, you're going to probably want to go in here, especially if you have NFTs and stuff, uh, which are, you know, the golden eggs or an item or whatever. Uh, if you aren't a member, you can only carry one out at a time. So you're definitely going to want to drop it in your stash. Look at this. I'm a very new player, like I say. I've already opened maybe 60 eggs. Not very much. Uh, people are open. I watched a guy open up 3,000 eggs the other night. It was phenomenal. It's crazy. You got nothing out of it, by the way. Just a heads up. But yeah, so anyway, so this is my stash. I'm going to drop all this stuff in there. I just got all this stuff from a run. Um, I'm gonna drop all this stuff in Here is my stash so eggs. I'm not a member right now. I am trying to get enough gold again I'm a new player. I only have 16,000 gold uh, to buy a 30-day pass I don't want to buy the seven-day one. I don't want to buy the one-day one uh, I'm one of those guys you go all, all in man. You're either all in or all out I'm going for the 30-day one. So I'm gonna farm up enough gold I think like 40 50 thousand dollars uh, gold I'm gonna get one of those and then I'm gonna go really hard. I, it's probably better maybe get the seven-day one uh, and then you can probably get more eggs. It's probably faster than seven day one to be honest with you um, You know who knows right anyway? Uh, okay, so that's the tavern. That's where your stash is at. That's the first uh, key right there uh, Very important to know that next I want to show you the general store, which is right here. Okay, this is the general store This is where you're gonna buy your weapons uh, You know another thing I want to tell you guys a little tip at first. This is a very important tip. Don't try to rush these games don't try to rush these levels okay i i farmed the first level for like three days in you're out you're in you farm it you get what you need you get out you go to your stash you drop it off you go back in you farm what you need you get out you drop it to your stash i did that for about two days man now maybe i went a little bit too far maybe uh but don't rush it man don't rush it because the thing with this game is once you die you lose the items on you if you have blockchain items you don't lose those but you will lose your items so here you go so uh, for weapons, okay? I bought the bow. The guard's bow, very important. I think that's the best weapon to get first. Um, I also got the barbarian blade. Some people say the katana. I like the blade. It's fast. But the bow, to me, is very important. The bow is probably going to be the weapon you want to use the most. Uh, get that first. So these are the weapons you're going to want. You're going to get $1,000. You're going to want to get these two weapons. The other thing you're going to want to get is this ring, okay? This ring is very, very, very important. Um, you rejuvenate two health. Here, let me see if I can hover it. Hover on it. Uh, you regenerate two health uh, every second up to 700 health. It's very important, guys. So you're going to want to get that, uh, especially um, if you want to get to the second level. So I've done the first level over and over and over. I am doing the second level now. I do it pretty easy, but it is a big jump in difficulty. There's these guys that poison you in there. Um, it's not fun. Okay, so I'll show you the next spot. So we got the tavern. That's what I showed you, which is right here, which is right here. Uh, that's where your stash is. The general store, which is just over there, that's where you're going to buy your bow and your sword and your ring. Very important. Now, I want to bring you to the Royal Emporium. This is very important. So you're going to want to take this path out here. And this is it right here. This is something you're going to want to know. And not a lot of people know about this. I didn't even know about this for a couple days, man. Nobody told me. I couldn't find it. I didn't know about it. This is the marketplace. This is where you buy and you sell. I've sold a bunch of eggs here. I probably sold them cheap. Uh, let me see history. 
I've sold uh, seven eggs at 600 gold. I've sold eight eggs at 535, which is very cheap, by the way, and nine eggs at 532, very cheap, by the way. But, you know, I needed gold. I wanted to get rid of them so I could get gold so I could buy the pendant. I know it was cheap. I ripped myself off. It's fine. But this is the spot, man. So you're going to want to buy... Um, a, an axe, a pickaxe, sorry, this thing here, the crude axe, okay, so you can mine the stones in the first dungeon, very important, you're going to get materials and stuff, uh, the fishing net is going to help you for the third mission, I believe, and there's something else, the, the, the wooden axe or something like that, okay, anyway, you're not there yet, if you're watching this, you're probably a, a brand new player to this, um, but yes, those are going to be crafting tools you will need later on, uh, but I do highly suggest you get the crude pickaxe so you can start mining those rocks in the first dungeon. It'll help you out a little bit. I don't know what I'd use them for. I just mine them. They're there to mine. Why not mine them? Uh, but yes, definitely the first thing you need to buy is that bow and the ring and the uh, and the sword. Very important. Uh, another thing I want to say, a big shout out to Cliff, man. Cliff is a one-man show. He's a one-man dev on this, which is very important. If you guys know anything about gaming um, and just making games and stuff like that, it's it's crazy, dude. The fact that he's a one-man show, he made all this. It's a beautiful game. It's a Diablo-like you know, dungeon crawler style of game. Phenomenal game. Great job. Great job, Cliff. All right. So that's basically the city. Oh, and the other thing, too, I can show you is the Easter egg. Right now, there's an event. Sorry, the Easter Bunny. Uh, right now there is an event. How do you even get to this? But let me, let's find out together. All right. Uh, here we go. So there is, oh, I'll show you actually something else, man. There's a, a crafting table I want to show you as well. Um, there's a few of them out there, but I'm going to show you this one. So, uh, there's an Easter event right now, uh, going on until April 17th, I believe. And, um, you know, you get these golden eggs, you get these, these eggs here. I have, you know, almost 500 of them, whatever. Uh, you can buy some stuff, but I'll get there in a second. This is a crafting table, so you can craft the, the axe if you get these materials. Uh, these are all the different things you can craft, whatever. Um, yeah, you don't have to buy the net. You can just craft it here, I guess. Anyway, this is the stuff you can craft, uh, which will help you get your crafting up as well. And here is the Easter Bunny. This is where the event is right now. Look at this cute little thing. Look at him. Just adorable. Just adorable. Just adorable. Okay. So if you save up enough of these eggs, I have 477. Uh, if you get 4,500, you can get this axe. Is it a, it's a virtual item. So it's not even a blockchain item. It's a virtual item. That's fine. Uh, what else is there? This is a virtual item. Eh, whatever. This is a blockchain item. So these are the ones for money. There you go. These are the ones that people want, the blockchain items. Uh, there's only 619 of them remaining, and that's it. I think that's the cool part of this game is the limited items. You know, you can only, there's only so many of them. Once they're, they're there, they're there, man. That's it. There's no more. I like that. I like that. Um, I'll tell you guys something, man. This game is really fun. My best advice, again, if you're watching this video, you're listen, and I'm not going to try to sit here and say I'm this pro at this game because I'm not, okay? I'm not. I, don't even have, I haven't even got a blockchain item yet, but I'll tell you something, man, the things that I did learn, um, which, you know, you're going to learn quick, but don't learn by making the mistake of dying. I have a lot of my buddies that have been playing this game. They've been dying, and they're like, yo, I've died four or five times today. Just, just slow it, man. Slow it down, dude. You don't need to rush through these levels. Just take your time. Get comfortable. Uh, one thing, use the bow. Another thing, shift is your friend. If you hold shift, look, you stay on the spot and you attack if you hold shift, okay? So you kite the mobs. Here, let me show you. Let me do it. Let me show you real quick. I'm going to do the first one. Uh, I do normally, Arcane Pits is usually the level that I do farm. But uh, if I'm going to be doing a video and talking, and show you, so I'm going to do this just to be safe. I don't want to die. I don't want to lose my stuff, right? So let me show you something real quick. Okay, let me teach you how to, to kind of run around and stuff and do your thing. Okay, so you're going to want to look. This, these guys, you just walk, but you run away, you hold shift, you click. Left click is a basic attack. Those ones there, you can kill in one hit. Um, okay, one hit. You always hold shift. Always hold shift. A and D, I switch to my camera. Okay, you hold shift, you hit. These ones here, if they take more than one hit, I right click. So shift and right click. It's a strong attack. Okay. Strong attack. Watch out for those traps. These ones here, I use a strong attack. It'll one hot, one hit them. Strong attack. Normally they take two hits. It'll one shot them. Okay. Uh, shift is your friend. A and D is your friend for your camera. Camera angle very important. So yeah, um, what you're going on? I'll show you about kiting. I'll show you a little bit about kiting though. Okay, because these ones I'm going to walk through it, but I will show you about kiting. Um, I'll explain it to you what what kiting is. Okay. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to bait these mobs. I'll use this guy. So like, say I'm kiting. Okay. I'm pulling them back. I'm pulling them back. I'm pulling them back. This is kiting. Shift. Turn around. Shoot. Shift. Shoot. 
See what I mean? I get that space and then I shoot. Keep them away. Keep that distance so they're not hitting you, okay? You want to take as little damage, especially when you're first playing. Keep that distance, okay? You keep that distance. It's very important. You want to take as little damage, especially at first, because you're going to get hit by these fire traps. These traps are going to catch you off guard. They're going to hit you for 50 damage. The fire traps in the walls are going to hit you for 50 damage. Uh, I'm at a point where, you know, I can walk through this. I can actually tank these guys pretty well. But um, for a new player, you won't be able to. So see these fire traps? You want to avoid that. See how I kite them back, kite them back and shoot? Kite them back and shoot. Uh, I'm at a point where I just usually walk through these. See how it does 50 damage a tick? 50 damage a tick. If you don't have anything uh, healing you up, that's gonna that's gonna hurt you, man. But I have that ring like I talked about earlier. It's gonna heal you two damage per second for up to 700 damage. Uh, very important, very, very important. But yeah, like right now where I'm at, I can walk through these traps, you know. Uh, but for a new player, you definitely don't wanna be walking through these traps. Uh, you wanna be kiting, kiting and shooting. I kinda messed it up a little bit there, but whatever, you get the, you get the idea. I'm just kinda trying to show you guys real quick here. Again, this level is easy for me, but do not, do not, do not rush ahead. I promise you, you will regret it. I've died once. It was actually the game glitched on me and it threw me into the lava pit. I was auto run. It auto ran me into, uh, uh, if I get to the spot here, I'll show you. Uh, it auto ran me into like a lava pit and it wouldn't let me run out. It was like running all over the place and I was kind of stuck in the pit and uh, it killed me. And I, and I just got my ring and I just got my bow. Which, but I'll tell you something, man. Uh, it's better to die now with this beginner stuff than with some end game stuff that, you know, it'll cost you a lot, man. A lot. So it costs me, what, 500 gold? There's people that lose 75,000 worth of stuff, if not more, uh, when they die. So, um, you know, you look at it that way. You look at the bigger picture. Uh, it's not so bad. And, guys, again, if you're a new player, do not run through the fire like I just did there. Uh, I do it because I can. Uh, if you're a new player, trust me, you can't. Okay, here, guys, this is what I want to show you. This is a this is the stuff you can mine. That crude axe or pickaxe, whatever I was telling you about, that's what this will help you with. And you can get coal and uh, other stuff. There's other kind of material you can get. That's what I wanted to show you. That there, so you can mine that stuff. This game is phenomenal, by the way, guys. If you like Diablo, I'm a big Diablo player. I love Diablo. And uh, when I saw this, especially when it has blockchain stuff, again, guys, do not run through the fire like this. Do not do that. Uh, I highly, highly, highly recommend uh, waiting, okay? Waiting. Uh, but again, I'm a little bit further in the game. So you normally I'd wait like this. You go up, I'd wait like this. You go up. Okay, this is one of the things I got stuck on. This is, this is how I died. It glitched me out, and it auto-ran me down here and like this, and I couldn't get up. It kept running me back and forth here, and it was doing like something like 500 damage a tick, and it killed me. And uh, at first I was like a, a little, no, I wasn't like upset, I was, it sucked. But you know what, man? Uh, as a new player right now, we're lucky, and I'm a new player too. We're lucky because we have this, uh, this, this golden egg event. You get a golden egg, you sell it for, you know, 600 gold, whatever the hell it goes for, and you're back in the game, okay? This event only started a couple days ago. All these players that have been playing for months, that started and died, they didn't have these eggs to just get them right back in the game. So we're kind of lucky. So consider yourself lucky if you do die. Get an egg. You're back in the game. It's no big deal. You know, and, and when I say get an egg, you don't have to buy them. Just play until you farm them. And that's what you're, you're it's a farming game anyway. It's a grinding game anyway. Um, be careful of these floor traps. Sometimes you won't see them. Anyway, we ended up doing a run. I didn't get a golden egg. No big deal. Um, but yeah, there we go. I didn't want to, you know, we ended up doing a run. Not that quick, that easy. Uh, but anyway, guys, this is the basics of the game I wanted to show you. Very quick. Uh, nothing too crazy. Again, the basics. This is the damage. Right now, there's a glitch where it says items discovered 0%, discovered 0%, monsters defeated 0%. It's a glitch. It doesn't matter. You're still getting all the stuff that you want, and uh, that's it. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this, guys. I do stream on Twitch every single day. I'll put the description below. Come by. I do stream this game. Uh, and we do have a really good community, man. I want to get to know the rest of you. You do play this game and you want to just get to know more of the community, come by, check it out. Say what's up. And uh, yo, thank you for checking out the video. Don't forget to smash that like button. Leave a comment. Let me know. Is there, a, and actually guys, let me know if there's other games you do play. I'm getting into Alien Worlds. That's another game that I'm getting into that I, I, I think is kind of cool. I love the blockchain stuff. I do farm. Um, I do get into NBA Top Shots, stuff like that. So if you're into NFTs, you're into blockchain, anything like that, talk to me, dude. Get to know me a little bit, man, because I want to get to know you. I love this kind of stuff. So anyway, guys, uh, I hope to see you in the stream. Come by. Let me know you came through the video. And uh, yo, we'll chat soon. I'm out of here. Peace.